Organizations are often looking to create marketing websites to provide rich and contextualized customer experiences. Hence, most of our customers are coming up with requirements to build amazing marketing websites. To fulfill such a demand using Oracle content and experience, we have created a marketing site template that customers can use as a base to build their own marketing website. This marketing site template provides almost all the basic features that are needed to build a good marketing website. The template comes up with features such as placeholders for promotions and product information, blog and blog searching capabilities. Cafe Supremo is a fictitious American coffee company and a coffee house chain with store locations worldwide. Cafe Supremo's company goal is to build an experience through which their customers can easily engage and interact effectively. They not only aim to create centralized content operations to ensure consistency across channels, but also decrease their time to market. Let me give you a walkthrough demo of Cafe Supremo's marketing site built using Oracle content and experience. Let's see how a customer of Cafe Supremo will see the marketing site. When a customer lands on a Cafe Supremo marketing site, they see a landing page filled with latest coffee promotions. Say a free cake promotion when you order a coffee from your car or any coffee accessories promotion that customers can buy using Cafe Supremo's online shop. All these promotions are dynamic in nature and gets updated automatically whenever a new promotion is published. A menu page in this website provides information of all the food related items available at Cafe Supremo. The top portion of the page contains banner, carousel, followed by the section that mentions various coffee, tea and treat options available at Cafe Supremo. The bottom page provides information of special Cafe Supremo combos. All the artifacts on this page are built using out-of-the-box components that comes with Oracle content and experience. You can even embed videos on the site by just using an out-of-the-box component and configuring it to show our respective video. The header on this site contains a custom menu component built to support various form factors within, such as blogs in this case. Blogs has subcategories like how-tos, drinks, people, and recipes. In this custom menu, we also have a provision to show and promote content. In the menu, here is a promotion of the blog that was published on December 16, 2020. The customer can click on blog directly to go to blog's landing page where they can find so many blogs written by various writers. These blogs are arranged based on different blog categories. Again, all this content on the page is dynamic in nature and gets updated automatically once the blog writer writes a new blog and publish it to the marketing site channel. User can select a blog and go to the page where they can read the complete blog. Along with the blog content, the blog page also contains extra information about the blog writer and a placeholder for promotion. In this case, Janet is a writer and you also can see a promotion running related to coffee accessories. If user clicks on the promotion, they land on a coffee shop where they can buy coffee stuff. If the user clicks on more from this writer link, they land on the blog writer's detailed information page. This blog writer details page also shows different blogs this writer has published so far. All this information is completely dynamic and gets updated automatically without changing anything in this published site. Say if users try to search for drink, they get the search result as blog written about Cafe Supremo drinks. If they try to search for cake, they can get a search result as blog written about how to make the right cake batter in Cafe Supremo's recipe section. The shop menu option in this site is created in such a way that it links users to a different Cafe Supremo coffee shop site where users can buy coffee stuff. This is the same coffee site where we just landed in a while when we were looking at promotions in the home page. Throughout the demo of this site, I was talking about content getting dynamically updated on this site. So let me show you how this site gets dynamically updated with the content. Let's take an example of blogs. 
The content writers actually create these blogs into the Oracle Content Experience Asset Repository. They create blogs by just saying create new content items of type blog. Write the blog content and provide all the metadata required for the blog to show up correctly on the marketing site. Let me do a simple change into the existing blog and show you how dynamically that information gets updated on the marketing site. To find the existing blog content item, I will filter all the content on this site and look for blogs. Let's edit the title of the blog, Iced Coffee. To new iced coffee in the town. Once the content writer edits the blog, they submit it for review to their manager. So now as the blog is gone for approval to content manager, let me show you what all different access content manager has and how they approve content and publish the same. Content managers have access to almost everything that is related to content in OCE. They are responsible to define repositories, asset types, localization policies, taxonomies, etc. Have a look at the asset type blog here. These are all the fields that are consumed by marketing site. Also have a look at how the same blog content is linked with different blog UI layouts. These all are the blog layouts that are used to show content differently in the marketing site at different site locations. Let's go back to the content approval request that came to the content manager for approval. Once the content manager receives the request for content approval, they review the content and approve it if it meets all the expectations. In this case, it is a blog, New Iced Coffee in Town. After approving the blog changes, Content Manager publishes the newly created blog to the marketing site channel. Now let's publish the blog. Let's go back to the site where we would find Iced Coffee blog under Drinks into Blog section. You will notice that the title of the blog is changed to New Iced Coffee in the Town. Even the blog title is now changed in the blog menu. Now let me show you how someone like website designer can edit the site pages and use the content created by content writers into the site. Site designers have access to the live sites in OC environment. They can create new sites or update the existing sites and publish the changes. Say for example, I as a site designer want to update the Cafe Supremo marketing site. Remembered, new iced coffee in town. Let's try to use the same content that was edited some time back and add that into marketing sites homepage. Let's go ahead and create a marketing site update. Now we'll go to the content section into the site editor's toolbox and look for the content we want to use on the site. Drag and drop the content into the site page. Now you can preview the site. Wow, the site looks good. Now let's commit the site changes and publish them.
You can see that the site is live and anyone who sees the marketing site's landing page sees the new blog on the site. This is all about Cafe Supremo marketing site template. Hope you would have liked the video and the information that we have shared with you today. I'll be back shortly with new videos on other business use cases.